Hello everyone, and welcome to a mod called Astral for Doom 2. Abstraction. We're going to be playing the very first episode, uh, probably in a cut-up format. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but this is episode one, and I'll we'll see how it goes. Restore the power first. Hmm, all right. The atmosphere in this is very good so far. Very excellent. I'm liking it a lot. It's very dark. But hey, what can you do when you choose to have a face cam? You can't see anything. Now, I'm not certain. Do I have infinite ammo for the pistol? I'm not 100% on that. Pinkies are a two shot. Love that. Give me your ammo, bud. And your ammo, too. Gotta be careful of any enemies that are trying to shoot me bum. Oh, there's two weapons here. Oh, my. The machine gun appears to be suppressed. See, when I first tested this wad out, I thought maybe the machine gun was, or everything in it might have been from uh, supercharged but it does not appear to be the case if it is supercharged it seems to be um, edited pretty heavily uh, unless supercharged just has changed a lot since I last played it since Godless Knights uh, if you have not played Godless Knights by the way very good now, this is also very good uh, so far my only actual complaint with it and I don't have the authority to make this complaint um, is it feels like the way it uses this texture pack, which I believe is Otex. It might have some other texture packs in it, but I believe this is using Otex. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really feel like Otex is used well in these type of scenarios, um, where the walls the scales off I'm, I'm trying to say the scale feels a little off for the style of textures otex is um but again that's just a personal feel um i can't in all honesty i cannot make something that looks this good i tried if you want to check it out you know uh the map which to map eight you know argo back rumble that i made that that's like i consider that my best work and i would not consider that better than this i wouldn't i wouldn't even call it close this is excellent um because like if you look at it like it looks good the lighting's good the texture work is good everything's aligned there's nothing wrong with it i'm just being picky as hell and you know what? i think ow i just got shot in the face i think if me being picky as hell is the only complaint i can come up with you're doing it pretty good all I'm saying is I just, because of the lack, because of those nitpicks, it is ruining my enjoyment a little bit. But I don't think it would affect most other people's enjoyment. For instance, one thing I literally just noticed right now is this stuff. It's like a single pane or whatever that's transparent. Excellent. I love that. That looks great. This looks awesome. It's a little hard to read, to be honest, because it is three transparent panes of the same texture. But it's still excellent. I like it a lot. If I changed anything about those, and I'll show you real quick, I would just make it so maybe the front texture is very like, ow, um, legible, like super legible. Uh, because it's the same texture throughout, it's not as legible, and I'm dead. Um, but that's all I would change. It's just hard to read the hostile presence kind of thing. Oh, that's all. That's all. I don't have my super shoddy anymore. We're pistol certain this. How many regular shoddy shells does it take? Just four. Four well-placed shots. And the reason I kind of think it's based off a of supercharge is the double barrel is just the weapon switch speed. It's very quick. 
but not as quick as supercharged, which is why it might not be. This might very much be its own beast. Because I haven't seen this anywhere. This suppressed assault rifle, haven't seen it anywhere. Um, and I, of course, I haven't played everything yet, but um, I haven't seen it, seen it in a, any really, really big projects lately, I guess. I don't know. For all I know, it's just in Project Brutality. Everything's in Project Brutality, I guess. I haven't really played that in a long, long time. I used to play it, definitely, Project Brutality, but, you know, take care of the small fry. Okay. Well, I'm glad we saved. Okay. Uh, I'm doing significantly worse than yesterday, but hey, it happens, I guess. Uh, I am getting... I have a rocket. Don't know when I got that, but I got a rocket launcher. I'm actually finding it more reliable ammo wise to uh, use the single barrel, just a regular pump action on these enemies. I need more ammunition for my machine gun. I'm not good at games anymore, by the way. In case anyone was wondering, I'm not good at games anymore. One of my favorite things to do in these, um, when the game introduces a new weapons or a mod, it's like, hey, here's some new weapons. I always, always gravitate towards the high rate of fire weapons. It's always my favorite. It's just, I love it. Especially if they can get away with giving me a high rate of fire gun that doesn't have a wind up. I, I will always, always love the minigun. The minigun is just so good. But if you can give me a, a gun that's slightly slower, but no wind up and just feels great, do it, please. I love it. What does this button do? Ah, shit. There's always something with these fucking buttons. All right, all right, all right, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Why wouldn't it be? Where the fuck am I? I'm in the previous level. Oh, okay, all right. It's fine. It's fine. That's not, that's just an engine thing. That is not, that is not the mod's fault. That is, that is a me thing. That is, that is me being dumb. I need to realize every time I go into a new level, quick save. All right, let's get in there and let's quick save this time. That was weird. Ooh, this room again. This room killed me last time. I don't know what I need to hard focus. I feel like the cacodemons, but the pinkies are what ended up getting me murked. All right, it takes care of all the revenants. I don't have to run around like a madman dodging missiles anymore. Ow, these guys fire very quickly. Very quickly. Where did you come from? Oh, for the love of God. Okay, that was that fight dealt with. One more to go. There was armor in there, did you know that? Oh my God. That tracked so much better than I thought it would. One slight complaint with the weapons I'm noticing, and I'm noticing it only with the rocket launcher. It has a delay to it, and I'm not liking it. It feels like I really have to hold the button down. Like if I just click it, now we're good. Whatever, it's fine. That's whatever. That was a rocket. The sequence has been completed. The door is open. I have 10 bullets for this. It does not give you a lot of ammo for the machine gun. I think even the game realizes how good this gun is. A lack of enemies is, oh, it just gave me a plasma gun. The hell is that? Uh, we just blew something up. What did we, what did we do? That was a cool set piece. Sound effects were on point. I liked it a lot. What did it do? Slower firing, but more powerful? That's what it seems like. It seems like I got a plasma gun that it fires powerful shots, but it's very slew. I got a red, oh, red key cards that way. That is a few revenants. I kind of noticed how no one seems to use the original revenant model anymore in mods. No one uses it. Besides Brutal Doom, I think Brutal Doom still does. Um, but I don't think Brutal Doom's updated in years. Um, everyone uses that, uh, I think it's called the Draugr, is what it, what it's called, something like that. It's not called the Revenant anymore. I kind of miss the old Revenant model. Like, I really, the Arachnatron too, like, 
everyone uses the same like two models it feels like like these are the, like the new updated enemies it's like what about the old ones the old ones were good too they're iconic and but everyone uses these dark and depressing ones because all of our maps are dark and depressing let's not all right fucking stop the combo of I can't see anything and that's not through the mod that's the light I have right up on my monitor the combo of not being able to see anything plus all the revenants I have to run around in and the death pits that are pitch black because I can't see anything um <clears throat> I would say this mod is excellent you should absolutely play it it's fun um you may have heard me say a lot of nitpicks ignore them play it I'm in a poor recording environment for games such as this uh, but I think this is really well made um, this level from the little bit I've seen of it I like it a lot and I like the previous levels um, I'd probably say episode or level one or two the textures were a little weird they were excellently used they just didn't really seem to fit the size of the level it felt like if that makes any sense the vibes but what do I know what do I know if you liked the video make sure to leave a comment and uh you know give me a follow subscribe down there thank you very much